Hey you guys, so I haven't posted in a while and my only reason is because I haven't had time. I know that's a stupid excuse to use, but it's my excuse. Um, but today I'm coming with, at you guys with a story time video. It is my one of my latest spiritual occurrences that have happened to me. Um, I went over to one of my best friend's house to hang out for the day, and we decided to, I decided to stay the night over at her house. Her name, I will say, will be Kate, and Kate had a friend over that night. She had been over for a while. She had came up from a different town. We'll call her Abby. So we decided to stay the night and Kate was laying on the bed relaxing playing on her phone and me and Abby were talking about our past spiritual occurrences. I found out that she believed in that kind of stuff too and that really interested me and I wanted to hear more about what she had experienced. She had experienced quite a bit like I have and as we were talking about these spiritual occurrences, I keep seeing things flying around, and finally after about 10 minutes I mention them and she, Abby's like, oh wait, you've been seeing them too? Cool, good, I'm not going crazy. I'm like, no, and then we seen Ab uh, Kate uh, mentioned that she had seen something too, and then she had se mentioned she had seen something behind me just a second before I said something, and I moved. And we kind of freaked out a little bit. It was kind of crazy. Um, and we kind of freaked out a little bit. It was weird. We had to, and then Kate had to use the bathroom. So me, no, not Kate, Abby had to use the bath. No, yep, Kate had to use the bathroom. So me and Abby stayed outside the bathroom, and me and her are just sitting there talking about just random stuff trying to keep off the paranormal stuff and then she suddenly complains about her I think it was her side hurting so I looked at it there was nothing there we just pushed it off and a second later Kate comes out of the bathroom complaining about a burning sensation on her back we're like that's really weird cuz it's like it had moved on from Abby to Kate and it was weird so we went into uh, Kate's bathroom, not bathroom, her bedroom, sorry, and she pulled up the back of her shirt and she had three scratch marks on her back. And we're like, okay, this is got getting weird and a little bit out of control. So we sat there talking a little bit more and then we decided to do an EVP. For those of you do, who do not know what that is, an EVP is an electronic voice phenomena. You use it to contact spirits you use it. it. You can use the recorder on your phone and you just ask questions and when you replay it sometimes you hear voices and noises that you didn't hear the first time. We were being very clear to say when we were talking, when we were moving, to explain any noise that we heard ourselves that we had made so we wouldn't get confused. Abby had a little bit of a cold. She kept sniffling and she made sure to say every time she sniffled it was her. So we're sitting there, Kate is sitting on the bed against the backboard, or the head of her bed. Kate is sitting near the door, not Kate, Abby, I'm sorry, is sitting near the door. And I was sitting at the end of the bed on the floor, my back to the wall. And we're sitting there, and we're still doing this EVP. And we weren't getting very much, but Right as Abby starts talking to ask another question, all of a sudden me and Kate hear a whistle that Abby didn't hear because she had just started talking. It kind of freaked us out a little bit. So we're sitting there. We got super excited because we had heard something. And we're sitting there, keep asking questions. And finally at the end, after a few more weird things had happened, we sat back on the bed with our list to the recording we got. And we're sitting there listening to the recording, and at a certain part in it, Abby says, in the recording, Abby says to me, Brie, uh, Bri, knock on the wall behind you. So I did, and I did this. 
And she asked the ghost if it would repeat that. And all of a sudden from outside the door, we hear the little heater they have click twice. We're like, I said, hey, does it ever do that? And they both said, no, it never just clicks twice. If it clicks at all, it clicks like five times at least. We're like, okay, that's kind of weird. Um, we asked it to again, nothing happened. After we had finished the recording, though, we had stood up to go sit on the bed to re listen to the recording again, and the light, like, dimmed, and we all noticed it. Like, that's really weird. So, Abby says, can you do that again if it was a spirit? And it does it again. She's like, can you do it one more time? And all of a sudden, as I sit down, it brightens, and I'm like, okay, it just brightened. It didn't dim, but it brightened, and it was really weird. We're like, okay, we're pretty sure that was a spirit. So we're sitting there, and we all have our certain things that are protecting us. Abby had a necklace that she knew was going to protect her. I had this necklace, which is weird. I have I bought it from a concert, but I always wear it because I feel like it protects me from certain things. And then Kate had a cross necklace that she had gotten from a family member. And Kate falls had a burning sensation on her neck which had like a little mark on it. And Abby had a couple bruises on her thigh, which hadn't been there before. And we're like, okay, that's really weird. I was the only one without any marks on me. My neck was a little bit red, we believe, but we're not positive if that was normal or something spiritual. So me and Abby continue to talk, and Kate falls asleep. And then Kate wakes up, and she's freaking out. She can't breathe, and she had dropped her necklace, and we couldn't find it. So Abby tries to calm Kate down and I go and start looking for her necklace and I find it behind the head of the bed. And the way that Kate was laying, she was laying this way and not this way on the bed. That made no sense from the way I was doing it. This is the bed and she was laying the short way. So there was no way I don't it could have ended up behind the headboard. Cause Kate doesn't roll, and she hadn't rolled while we were sitting there talking. So, after Kate gets her necklace back, she falls back asleep for a little bit, and we're sitting there, and all of a sudden we hear this, like, grunting outside, and it freaked us out so bad. Finally, we were so freaked out, we didn't want to be in the room, it just felt so intense and so threatening in the room that we decided to go and sleep in the living room for the rest of the night. So that was a really intense time. The next morning when we got up and we went into the bedroom everything felt normal. I forgot to say this but like the night before when we were doing all the spiritual stuff I felt like I was like being hugged from behind. Like something was like comforting me and trying to protect me and like it was warm and not cold which usually what I'm used to is coldness when a spirit's supposed to be touching you but it was warm it was really freaky and Kate said that she thought it was the woman that she hears in her room sometimes and I'm like okay that makes sense I guess cause Kate says she feels protected and comforted when the woman spirit is around but it was a freaky experience and everything felt completely normal the day before and it might have just been our minds playing tricks on us I don't know but my own belief is that it was spiritual we came into contact with spiritual things and it was just freaky and I was okay with it. I enjoy that kind of thing. I enjoy getting freaked out. And it freaked Kate out. She doesn't really want to be in her room alone anymore. And she wants us to try to get rid of it. But 
I think that everything's gonna be okay now. Um, so that was my story. I know it was kind of longer than most of my videos. I'm going on a new slate here. Um, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please let me know. Like, comment, subscribe. Let me know what else you would like to hear. If you'd like to hear more spiritual stories that ha we I have had. Um, if you'd like anything, just let me know what you would like to hear. Um, thank you for listening. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you guys have a wonderful night and a fantastic day. And you guys have peace and happiness and love. Um, but that was my story. I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.